and welcome back to the channel. Vader Stormtrooper hooked up together. We are about to do some grill renovations for a very good friend of ours. We want you guys to be with us for the process. So let's go pick it up, bring it back, and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back from our trip, and what we have retrieved is a gem. This is a charbroil offset grill. Locally available as your usual, Lowe's, Walmart, sometimes Home Depot. Uh, this is a great entry level grill for a lot of guys, and a lot of guys who started grilling started on some units just like these, myself included. So, what my friend wanted to do, he wanted to refresh this one, make a few minor upgrades, get a couple coats of paint on it, just get it to look at pristine again. Sometimes you can't put a value on great grills that have taken people a long time and through great cooks and great memories. So sometimes buying a new one isn't an option for some people. They just want to keep what they have and just refresh it. So that's what we're here to do today. Join us in the process. This is part one of refreshing the Charbroil Offset Cooker. Well, judging by the looks of this one, boy, she's got some miles on her, but they're good miles. Not a lot of deterioration, just some fading, a lot of oxidation from being outside. So we're gonna take some heavy grit sandpaper, get her sanded down, get her primed up, looking nice. We're gonna coat her up. We're gonna insert some fire bricks, maybe some gasket seal, a couple other spots. And we may be able to even work out a basket for her, but uh, we'll see. But first of all, we gotta get this thing cleaned up. So take a short break and we'll be back. So we got the charbroil here, we're gonna open it up. We've already taken the grates out to wash them down, but we did want to show you guys what we have going on here before we get to scraping and getting everything right. Uh, I'll try to set up a tripod to show some of the process, but this is what we got, man. Gonna scrape a lot of this surface rust off. Gonna get her washed off, paint her up, put a couple bricks in the firebox to insulate in hopes of retaining heat and stopping some discoloration over here on the top. And we're just gonna get it back to as brand new as it looked the day he bought it. So stay tuned and watch the work. First step, let's clean out. So while we're at a good stopping point, I'm gonna show you where we've gotten, taking all the grill grates out and everything broken down over here. We're gonna scrape them down, properly repaint that one, sand everything down, get ready to get fresh coats of paints on some of these and reseason the others. We're gonna rinse this out here where our firebox is. We had a big gap here just from over time of moving the uh, moving the grill around where it separated. So we tighten the screws back up. But we're gonna take them off so we can just go ahead and get a bunch of water in this and rinse it out, get it cleaned up so we can lay fresh paint down on the inside, high temp paint, get all this scraped down, uh, safe brushes, and uh, get it ready for a couple coats of high temp paint. So again, see the process, anybody can do it. Just a little TLC. We're gonna get this stack off of here, get it sanded down as well. We're gonna try and get this thing some new life for a little cost, all right? Let's go. All right, more of the same where we are right now. As you can see, we've started some sanding, knocking off a little bit of the surface rust, cleaning out a lot of the ash. We've disconnected the firebox and leaned it down so we can do a quick clean out with that. Next, we're gonna get the hose. We're gonna shoot all this down, loosen up some of the caked on um, old charcoal residue and get it as cleaned out as we can. We don't need it 100%, we just need to get it cleaned out as best as we can so that the new paint can take to a solid surface. Again, we sanded down the firebox over here, just a little scuzz brush action. Gonna get in here, get this wet down, probably scrape it out a little bit more, get some high temp paint on this as well. We're gonna work our way to the outside, reassembly. We want you guys to stick along for the magic. We'll be right back. As you can see, we got the pit at an angle and look at the difference on the inside. Getting it cleaned out. We'll take a wire brush, gonna get to those sections, get to this back section right here. Firebox is looking real good. Gonna let this dry up, and once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and knock some more rust off and get started laying down some coats of paint once this is dry, because we don't want it to get any more rustier than this. We wanna bring it back to life. So, let's finish rehabbing this baby. A few moments later. All right, everything's been clean, dry, and as it stands, this is what we have. Let's use the putty knife. 
excuse the firebox being a little lean down. Probably it's gonna be great though. Give ourselves ample area to work. A lot of sand is the next phase. Stay tuned for more to come. This is a restoration project. Bringing life back into an old offset by Char Grill. And uh, yeah, you guys are here for the ride. So stay tuned for part two.